Welcome to our Sunday specials. As Nigerians are burdened by criminal activities, the news that the federal government is considering state police police and came with mixed reactions. Well, this comes after Abuja, the nation's capital, witnessed an uptick in crime rate recently. Senior correspondent Ivy Kano looks at measures to improve internal security. Most area councils in the federal capital territory has witnessed an unprecedented rise in criminal activities, especially kidnapping and one chance. This raised a lot of dust that prompted the minister to meet with security agencies and traditional rulers in these councils. In the meetings, he had told the attendees that they would be held responsible for insecurity and promised to improve the gadget of the police. This resulted in the arrest of over 300 suspects. The only thing you hear that this has happened. Most of the minister of FCT, Nyosom Wike, who seemed to be running against time to deliver and make the nation capital safe, announced a 20 million naira bounty for information that would lead to the arrest of a kidnapped kingpin. All of us eat it there. The social media has been awash with videos of kidnap with one showing a girl left behind by the kidnappers. This prompted the Senate to meet with the service chiefs and heads of intelligence agencies behind closed doors for nine hours. After that meeting, the upper chamber passed a vote of confidence on the security chiefs. That almost 90% of perpetrators of heinous crimes in the country, including the ones recently reported in Buari, in Abuja, have been apprehended, and many of them are already in detention. The Senate also pointed out that, yes, appropriations have been made and releases made, but the Senate urges the Honorable Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, who himself also gave briefing to ensure immediate implementation and releases of all funds needed by security agencies in order to combat the insurgents. Nigeria with a population of over 200 million and a land space of over 900,000 square kilometers. Many are of the view that it is impossible for the country to be adequately policed with the present police structure. Desperate times, they say, calls for desperate measures. To this end, President Bola Tinubu called an emergency meeting with the 36 state governors and some ministers to look at ways to address the security situation and the economy. One of the ideas considered was state police. The president wants the state governors to look collectively at reasons why the nation needs to change the present police security architecture by introducing state police, an idea that has been in Kula for a long time. The president and the state governors have also discussed the possibility of improving the numeric strength of forest rangers. Now, there is also a discussion around the issue of state police. The federal government and the state governments are mulling the possibility of setting up state police. Already some states have been inaugurating local vigilantes and equipping them to complement the police in intelligence gathering. While some think that security agencies in the country can contain the level of insecurity we are seeing now, now events in the past days have proved otherwise. We'll speak to Nigerians and also speak to security practitioners to know the way forward. Security expert Peter Okulo couldn't agree less with the president. According to him, it's a long time coming and one that Nigerians would be grateful for. I strongly believe that the state police have an advantage knowing that if you're within an environment and you're from that particular state, you understand the language, you know the terrain, you understand the structure, you understand the culture. When you're investigating, you can investigate with, with your language and not with English, with your language. You know, sometimes when a language has some level, it brings you some level of affinity, you know, and closeness that allows you to dig, dig deep into investigation. And of course, when you know that I am from this community, I'm a policeman and I'm this community, 
your, your loyalty to that committee is higher than any other way. It's higher than any other way. I, ha I come from Delta State, all right? And I've seen situations where you put up a farm and then during a few months before harvest, the, the cows come and destroy those farms and then they take it to the nearest police station who possibly is not, the DPO is not from that area. And the way he treats those, those cases, people are, are dissatisfied. And they, all they tell you is, they call you from the village and say, you know what, this man is treating this case because he's this from this part of the country. Other Nigerians described state police as a welcome development, as they say the police is overstretched. State police is far better off because uh, like someone coming from a particular state, a particular area, and the state police, so he has all the high there's both security, he's not all the bad guys, let me just put it that way. Just of recent, there were a lot of crises around my myself, you understand? So let's assume send for someone that is from that community. He knows where all the hangouts are of those bad guys and all those things. So state, state police, for my, my, as in to me, state police is a very welcome development. It's a very good idea. I believe if truly the governments are really willing from the depth of their hearts to approach it from the language state policing, I feel it will go a long way. It will help at least cool down the temperature of Nigeria. It is advisable for us to, for Nigeria as a whole, to have state police because it will reduce the, the state of insecurity. We are very ripe indeed. Very, very, according to the situation going on in Nigeria right now. We are due for it and we are expecting it very soon, if it's possible. Some are of the opinion that to unbundle the present police structure, workable modalities must be put in place to insulate state police from abuse by the state governors. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos.